Time for What's Happening. The Senate has now approved that $15.25 billion in disaster aid relief as part of this agreement that President struck with the Democrats in Congress. This will also raise the federal borrowing limit and keep the government open until December 8th. That is going to be a hellish December for lawmakers that are going to have to try and agree on things. I've got a question. You. Why do we have a federal borrowing limit that we just keep raising every every so often? Why even have a limit if we're just going to keep raising it? It makes no sense. It's completely irresponsible. Some credit card company executive is laughing at you right now. Because he may know the answer. I don't know the answer. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. This is a. Uh, this is an interesting. Uh, what's the word? Exercise in politics, though, because now the president has pissed off Republican members of Congress by agreeing with the Democratic members of Congress, even though many Republicans were saying we cannot do a temporary, just a three month er- extension. Well, that's because a lot of the Republicans, i.e. Paul Ryan, wanted to kick the can past the next election, and they didn't want to fight about it. Right. They didn't want to be seen as the bad guys. You know what I'd like to see them do is be the fiscal conservatives that they ran on. Is that asking too much or no? Woo. See, I need the football. You do need football. Need you need to football. let out some of this aggression. Just a few more hours. Uh, obviously, more hours. <laughs> uh, Hurricane Irma is trending as well. The latest evacuation orders have multiplied throughout our, throughout Florida. Miami-Dade has made evacuations mandatory for all of its coastal areas, all the barrier islands, and all mobile homes. Monroe County uh, also has a mandatory order in effect for the entire Florida Keys. I saw some pictures earlier of the the one highway that connects all the keys together. Jam yeah. packed with people. Uh, in the, the no gas situation? Yeah. Could you imagine if you got little kids and you got to get out of there and there's no gas? There's no flights? That's that terrible. Would be terrifying, especially considering this has been described as by far the strongest uh, largest hurricane ever to come out of the Atlantic Ocean. Beer so. is in the news. Listen oh, to I, this story. I'm listening. This happened at a high school in New Jersey. A can of beer was discovered at a football game. This can of beer reportedly landed on the ground at said football game and was spotted by a school official. This happened Friday night. The school is now ordering parents... They have to get their kids' blood and urine tested because they want to find out who had that brew. Oh, my God. Now, listen. Good Lord. They need football games, too. 75 <laughs> yeah. students were in the bleachers. They, they were taken to classrooms as school officials contacted their parents so that they could pick them up. Imagine that. They've escorted dozens of these high school kids from the bleachers to the classrooms and then called everyone's parents and said, we found a single beer bottle. Your child will either be suspended or you take them to a medical center immediately and get them tested. And probably have to pay for it. Also. Well, if if your kid tests positive for alcohol, you pay for it. If they don't, then the board will pick, the school board will pick up the What tab. do you think about this? Too far I, or nipping it in the well, bud and you love it? Here's the thing. I As I read through this, I thought... I don't think my kid would would be the guy drinking the beer, but I would be so mad at the school district, I would say, then suspend them. I'm not taking them to some stupid medical center. Yeah. They identified a bunch of the kids. Yes. So wouldn't the easiest way possible just to say, if nobody comes forward, you guys are all banned from attending future football games, rather than blood samples and urine samples and all this stuff. Oh, you're saying let the... uh, Just ban everybody from the game. Yeah. And let the uh, peer pressure... Yeah, yeah. Bring it out. Go back to Breakfast Club at that point and let the kids rat on each other. Right. Although in that case they didn't. But <laughs> we need your kids' blood in your Remember? <laughs> I got you for two weeks, Bender. For two weeks, you're mine. I love it when you bring up something to compare something to. And it uh, and it didn't it, work. It didn't work. <laughs> well, speaking of beer. Beer. <laughs> National Beer Lovers Day. Oh, Is that today? Yes. Maybe Oscar. the kids were just Oscar. celebrating that. Oscar? Uh, I have plenty of beer for you That guys. is true. Okay. Plenty That's, of beer. This is like three times a year where Oscar can say, hey, I've got that. Beer you day. Beer day. Cheese it's day. day. <laughs> whiskey day. And whiskey day. And that's it. It. Don't we have like a vat of oil in our office for some reason? Oh, yeah. We do also have for, for Wesson oil, day. Oil lover's day. <laughs> um, if you were curious, 
some some health benefits for for beer day. Daily beer consumption has been shown to help reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. But that's like if you have two, not 45, right? Why are you all judgy? Dietary silicon, important for growth and development of bone and connective tissue. Several studies link moderate alcohol consumption with a 30% reduced risk of type 2 diabetes. Beer contains xanthomo. Xanthomo. What is that word? Xanthomo? Xanthomo. A powerful antioxidant known to have anti-cancer properties. And one of the most remarkable health benefits of beer benefits of beer is it can help protect against Alzheimer's. I didn't know that. I didn't either. Guys. I have a new excuse, though. The Bachelor has been named. Yes. I have no idea who this guy is. These, Ari Leyendijk? I, I only started re-watching The Bachelor after like 20 years because we were going to follow it on this show. So this was one of the seasons that I did not watch. I don't know who this guy is, but he's a good looker. You, he's a good looker. You don't remember the name of his dad? I mean, his dad was the one who is that everybody remembers as the, I guess he is also a car race car driver. He is. But, but Ari Leyendijk Jr., was on to, in 2012 when Emily was the bachelorette. Emily was the girl who's who was a widow. I yes, think from her, South Carolina, and yeah. her her boyfriendy, husbandy kind of guy was killed in a race car accident. Race car accident. Yeah. So why would they pick a race car driver to be on? Because hit? the that producers sucks. are evil. Oh. They're evil little people. Well, in this case, Ari Leyendijk Jr. is 35 years old, so I think that would put him on the high end for some of the bachelors. So, well, then he, you know, he'll find a nice little 21 year old. Uh, it, you know, what, that's going to be interesting it if they movie. cast a lot of uh, young girls. I well, bet they're going to have to keep it in the upper 20s. They'll probably like, have a spectrum, a and then anybody in there? their 30s is going to get booted out like the first week. Yeah. Because we, we expire at 30. Mm-hmm. Hey. Easy. Don't say, man. Man. <laughs> Don't say, too. Uh, the It movie is trending. Of course, it comes out this weekend. A girl says she and her friends were the ones who are behind those red balloons found in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. Red balloon, if you know the movie, it's the, you see it wherever you see Pennywise, the, the child-eating clown. Um, they were surprised at how much attention this was going to get. They said it was just supposed to be a, a Facebook prank, but that people were completely terrified. Uh, and they were completely terrified to remove the balloons because they didn't want to be caught. It's just a silly little joke. It's fine. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's do this. <laughs> Who's even doing the games tonight? Do we Excited. know where, what? Uh, It's going to be Al Michaels, uh, right? He does Thursday night? I don't know. No, he does, no, he does Sunday night. Sunday nights. nights. Is it CBS that still has the Thursday night games? It used to be CBS and the NFL Network, and then it was... Tonight's on NBC. It is NBC? Yeah. Maybe it so is Al Michaels. It is then. Al Michaels and Chris Collins. Were well, that's the, wrong, that's the wrong music, then, if it's NBC. I need to have... Uh, no. Uh, Mike Tirico? Yeah. It's Football Night America tonight, everybody. The regular season to kicks off tonight. Patriots 5:30 at the Chiefs. I was listening to Al Michaels on uh, Dan Patrick the other day, and he was talking about the advent of Monday Night Football and how people would stop by the booth, and you know John Lennon would stop by, and it was a very cool thing. And they were still kind of under the radar in those those days of Don Meredith and Frank Gifford and. Football was not as big of a deal. And then as it started becoming a bigger deal, the network started pushing the broadcast team to, like, publicize crap shows that were running during the week in prime time. <laughs> and, like, forcing these guys to, to, to give up half a quarter for some... They talk about the A-team. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it, he said it became just a, a mess. Uh, the game is in uh, Foxborough tonight, according to both... Blake and NFL.com. <clears throat> Although then they wrote this up wrong on the NFL.com website. If you read that, Patriots, Chiefs, where would you think that game is? Traditionally, you put the home team second, even when you write it up in a headline. Do you want me to call somebody? I just think that's sloppy journalism on their part. Do you want to talk about the House brothers? One of them wears a suit. Drew and Jonathan? Drew wears a suit. Drew almost rhymes with suit. If you missed yesterday's show, it's worth a podcast because Gary lost his mind over <laughs> that show. Now, hold on. I lost my mind over somebody getting mad that I didn't know which one of them wears the suit. Right. I bet you 98% of the pop 
I bet 99% of the population wouldn't be able to tell you which one of those guys wears the suit. Gary and Shannon. But I'm the one who's...